hope everyone is healthy i hope everyone is safe <sighs> this video i have decided during quarantine quite late into lockdown to be honest that i want to do a photo series so i'm gonna do a series of photos that's what a photo series is <laughs> all based in my house so my, predominantly my bedroom but i may get a bit creative with it go outside in the garden or in the bathroom or whatever it may be and i am going to do these series this photo series um being the photographer editor lighting assistant and model uno uno just me just me una persona because you know why? Estoy bueno. Estoy muy bueno. Let me not blow my own trumpet and sound like a horrible person. Because I'm really not such a nice person. If you are following me on Instagram and have seen the photos that have been going up onto my Instagram, you would have seen a taster of my first series, my purple series, which is now up. Um, if you haven't seen them, this is what the photos look like and this video is dedicated to these photos and how I created them so if you want to have a go you can too what will you need you will need number one you will need a face of makeup now I'm not really an expert at makeup I can't really tell you about all the highlighters and contours and things like that I don't go all out I literally just do like a base I hide underneath my bag it my eyes mascara like a like, like basic face but when I am taking photos in particular I do go a little bit harder especially on my eyeshadow and my lips um particularly in this purple series I never would have worn a red eyeshadow with a purple lip but it translates really well once I've taken the photo so you'll find when you're taking photos your makeup doesn't look as harsh as it does in real life on camera so feel free to go that little bit extra when you're taking a photo number two you will need a ring light so i'm using a ring light right now to do this video and i will put here the ring light that i got from amazon you don't particularly have to get this one but it's just an idea for you guys it's affordable and um, the ring light that i got and um, this ring light is really good because it has three settings it has like a yellow undertone a blue undertone and a white undertone and then in within those undertones i can make the light brighter or darker um, and it's just really good because then you can concentrate light in a particular area so like your face um without like oversaturating the whole of your area that you're taking a photo in three you will need led lighting so again i will put the led lighting that i got from amazon here you don't have to particularly get that one um but this one is really really good it was again it's affordable it just clicks straight into um a plug port and i've stuck it up on my wall trick with the led lighting is you don't want to shoot the photo in daylight in particular i actually wait until after sunset when it starts to get a bit darker because the daylight washes out the led lighting you can't it doesn't really translate over as much um so you want it to be quite dark so the led lighting is predominant and then that's why i use a ring light rather than a box light or any type of other kind of overpowering lighting because you can control this more and you kind of just need just enough light to light your face but not to take away the color to whitewash out the color because if the lighting is too bright that blue, neon purple blue whatever color you have will not translate the led color will not translate through the camera so you want it to be quite dark but have your face well lit you will need um a tripod so i have a tripod that was given to me by a friend it actually needs a um plate to actually put my camera on it's an old type old style tripod and i haven't actually got a plate and obviously as you all know we're in covid 19 so i don't really have much expenditure just lying around to buy um plates for tripod stands but um any if you can get a tripod a new a new modern one it probably won't need a plate you can probably just click your camera in um or twist it in. it might just come straight with the twist i don't know i don't really know much about tripods either i just know i have one that was gifted to me and yeah so at the moment i'm kind of just balancing it on the tripod it's a dangerous game i'm playing but um yeah balance it on the tripod the tripod is great because then you could adjust the height obviously how far back and close you want to get the camera number five you will need a camera i'll show you which camera i am using 
So I am using the Sony A6000. This is my camera. And this is, it's not cheap. <laughs> um, but I bought it outside of COVID. I've had it for like a year and a bit now. And this is my first camera. Ideally, I would love an A7 Mark III. But my bank account says no. I don't have A7 Mark III type bank account. So I have an A6000. Um, this is my first camera as well. Like I only just started photography. I didn't want to go all out and start buying like a massive A7 and like I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Like I'm pretty much self-taught. Um, so yeah, you'll need a, a good camera. Um, to be honest, like most of the like cameras now, even the ones that are like don't have to have the newest range, you know, they're pretty decent. I do like Sony though, like, and I was umming and ahhing between a Canon and Sony, but after watching loads of YouTube reviews for like five days straight, I decided to go over Sony and I haven't regretted it. I've also spent money on a lens, again, pre-COVID. I just dropped my lens, for fuck's sake. I had a heart attack, I dropped my lens. This is expensive. No, I invested a lot of money into the lens. It's about the, nearly the same bloody price as the camera. Um, yeah, so this is a Sigma lens. It's a 13 mil millimeters. Let me make sure I'm not talking rubbish. I'm pretty sure I bought a 30 mil. Um, why can't I see it? Yes, 30 mil, um, 1.4. And this is just like, ugh, this is my baby. Um, Sony do make their own one. Um, I think it's the, I used to hire out um, the 35mm 1.8, um, but it's exp even more expensive than this. So I decided to go with a Sigma, which is a 30mm, it's cheaper, and it pretty much does the same. It has the same sort of effect and takes the same quality of photos. So yeah, a good lens just to make the camp, just to make the picture pop is great. Phones these days are really great though, uh, as, as much as I hate to say it because I've been an Android girl for years and years and years, I am slowly deciding that iPhone is the way, especially if you want to take photos, my next phone will be an iPhone because just the quality of the photos are better and um, I want to be able to be a photographer at any time and any point even if I don't have my camera with me so if you have an iPhone it is a good camera that you can use if you don't have these babies right here last but not least but really really important you need music put on some good music whatever type of music you like put it on and just really get into the mood it will just help you take good photos it will help you pose better you'll be more relaxed you'll feel like diva and then you know you can just keep snapping 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 away there's a trick i haven't shown you guys and unfortunately i can't really show you because my phone is filming me right now because the burning question is if you're the photographer and the model how are you taking the photo of yourself if you're in it found this on youtube and i saw this girl do it with a canon and i was like surely a sony can do this and i'm actually so angry at myself that i've had a sony for almost a whole year now and just didn't know that it had this function that like, i didn't even think about this function and now that i found it though guys you will forever see photos from me you go to menu and you go along to application. Oh, let me get there first. Don't know if you can see that. Application list. It's like one, two, three, fourth one in. You click on application list and then you go to smart remote embedded. And then you click on that. And then you need to download play memories onto your smartphone. And then the smartphone um, have the Wi-Fi on will connect to your camera through Wi-Fi. Do you see what's about to happen here? So now, once that's connected through Wi-Fi, I can control my camera through my phone. So what I would do as my setup is put my camera on the tripod, put my phone in the ring light, have the ring light quite close to me because it needs to light my face anyway. I have two second timer. I press it, the trigger on my phone. My camera will start counting me down, get into position, bang, photo, and I just keep doing it. Press it, into position, bang, photo, press it, into position, bang, photo. And on the purple series, I did about 100 photos, a 90 photos, something like that. 
and then you just pick the ones that you like always try and do more not less is more with photography more is more is good do as as do as many as you can be bothered to do just keep going until your face starts to get like you know or well, you're not feeling it anymore because then you have more to choose from and then to edit the photos i use facetune um i used to use lightroom adobe but i've had to cancel that subscription due to covid i haven't got the funds so using photoshop express and i also use uh i have pixel and canva but i didn't use it on this series so i'm gonna stick with facetune and um photoshop express those are my two go-to's at the moment if you like this video please share it with your friends comment and i will be doing a another video i have another photo series i'm shooting this evening that's why my makeup is kind of semi done and i cannot wait to do this one guys this one's exciting i will do another video again as to how i did this one um because this one is gonna be good hopefully it comes out good um one thing i missed out with the led lighting it does help to have a white wall because then the color just really shows up um a lot better on a plain wall if you have a plain light colored light pink light blue yellow beige it will work but white is really great um but i think any color led at night that's why it's best to do it when it's darker because your paint on your walls won't pop through but a plain straight wall have any other questions about how to uh, do your photo shoots from home let me know and i will try and answer them peace